must uh, try to listen to hadith uh, and practice it, implement it, learn the wisdom from it. It's something that people make, uh, you know, make light of today. And it should never be the case. Anyways, um, we get back to our our nahu now with the Ta'ala. So, what I had for you in Nahu, should have been sent to you. Um, so, what I said to you was like, I think three or four pages of examples of Hal in the form of Jumal and then a short note on the Dharf Zaman and the Dharf Makan. Right? Did you guys receive that? Right, the hard copies I think will be provided next week, inshallah. But um, what I intended to do was for you to just do some of the examples um, in, in your groups, do some of those examples quickly, and then we could go through them. So if we can just take 10 minutes, and I think start from example number, um, I want you to do the harder ones. Yeah, and you can do the easy ones for all more. So, do from number five, five, six, seven, and if you can eight, but just 10 minutes, inshallah, and we'll come back to uh, check that. That's so I'm going to make the breakout groups now, inshallah.
Okay, so let's look at it. Um, I said from verse number five. Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَيُصِيبُ بِهَا مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَهُمْ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي اللَّهِ وَهُوَ شَدِيدُ الْمِحَانِ Okay. So we have the verb there. فَيُصِيبُ أَصَابَ يُصِيبُ means to strike, to afflict. بِهَا with it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking about that. وَيُسَبِّحُ الرَّعْدُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ مِنْ خِيْفَةِهِ But the lightning. Right? He strikes with the lightning, man yasha, whoever he wants. Now, where is the hal in this verse? So remember what we said last week, the hal can take the form of a single word, it can take the form of a nominal sentence, or it can take the form of a verbal sentence. When it's a nominal sentence, then how will it be? So follow a, wow, okay. So do we have something like that here? Okay, so we have وَهُمْ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي اللَّهِ وَهُوَ شَدِيدُ الْمِحَانِ How do we translate that? So there are two sentences حال. One is the حال for the فاعل and one is the حال for the مفعول. Right? So I want you to focus on the fact that Look, what does the first sentence say? Wahum. And I told you that's a form of two usually take a wow plus a comment. It doesn't always take that form. It's just the, 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 the wow before the nominal sentence, but that's the form that it often takes. Wahum, whilst they. Whilst they what? Wahum yujadiluna, whilst they argue, fillah regarding Allah. So who is that describing? No, how can Allah be uh, uh, firstly referred to by whom and also be disputing about Allah? Who would be disputing about Allah? Let us believe us. So Allah will afflict them. He will afflict with it whomsoever he wills. It's describing the hal of those whom he wills to afflict with his punishment. So what's that? It's a hal for the maf'oon bi. Remember in our first lesson on hal, we said the hal is the, gives you the condition of the fa'il or the maf'oon, right? At the time of the action. So Allah says, at the time when they are disputing about Allah, Allah will afflict them, Allah will strike them with the, uh, the lightning. وَهُوَ شَدِيرُ الْمِحَالِ Wahua. So again, whilst he is Shadid al Mihal. Shadid means intense. And you can see what kind of construction is that? Shadid, Shadid al Mihali. Mudaf, Mudaf, like construction. But it's actually like a form of a Mosu Sifa. He, he is intense in his mind. He has uh, basically, yeah, he is supreme in his mind. Yes. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's a deep Akida discussion, right? <laughs> that's a deep, that's a deep Akida discussion. But we're not going to get into it. What we understand of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is that Allah is perfect and unchanging. In terms of what we experience from Allah, to us might appear as certain other things, like anger or happiness. We say Allah is happy with that action of yours. And what that means in relation to Allah, that's Allah's stuff. Right? Uh, what we do say is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect and unchanging, but you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has these qualities permanently that manifest. So don't get into it.
Yes, so we don't give Allah human traits uh, or understand Allah to be changing in time and space, right? Like we do. So do, do we know that Allah has love? Yes, we know that. Why Allah tells us in the Quran? Do we know that Allah is compassionate and expresses compassion? Yes, we know that the Quran tells us. Do we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, this hadith that speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala laughing, this hadith that speak about Allah approaching this, Hadith that speak about Allah descending. Right? How do we understand that? What we understand from that is firstly any human understanding of that, or any understanding of that, that we restrict Allah to time and space or make Allah human like we put that meaning out of our mind. Right? And then we say, whatever Allah means by it, we believe that, or we interpret it in a manner that is in accordance with a well-known usage of the language um, and a meaning that's generally already established for Allah. So for example, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Allah comes or Allah descends, we understand that to be like, your du'as are more readily accepted at that time. Right? Allah's acceptance is nearer. Or when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about him being with you, وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ He is with you. With means to accompany something in space, but we don't understand that the restriction for Allah. So we understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's knowledge encompasses everything. Right. Um, so that's the process we undergo when we have those kind of, uh, you know, uh, things that seem to, what we call mutashabiha, and clear things that seem to liken Allah to, to his creation or limit Allah in any way. Right. But anyways, the point is back to the hal. So again, we might understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying at the time of that action of taking them to task and striking them with the lightning, he is shadirul mihal. But we also know when it comes to Allah, Allah is always shadirul mihal. Allah is always supreme in his mind. Um, but yeah, it's just being expressed in the you know, sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expresses things in a rhetorical manner to emphasize them or to, to highlight something of its meaning. Because at times, Allah wants you to think of his mercy for us, of, of his mercy. And at times, Allah wants you to think of his might. At all times, Allah is supreme in his might. And at all times, Allah is most merciful. Actually, transcending time. But... There's times in which Allah wants you to focus and me to focus on his might. And there's times that he wants us to focus on his mercy. Um, the point being here, there's two sentences there. وَهُمْ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي اللَّهِ وَهُوَ شَدِيدُ الْمِحَالِ Both I want you to recognize that construct. What? At the beginning of a nominal sentence. Um, and then if you point on the meaning, the one is referring to the ones who will be struck by the lightning. And the other one is referring to Allah who will Strike them with a light. One to the maf'ul, one to the fa'il. Yes. But now, why do we not translate it as because? The, so, so we remember we learned about maf'ul li ajlihi. Right. Maf'ul li ajlihi is also sometimes called maf'ul lahu. Right. And maf'ul or hal. Um, No, no, I was thinking actually of the dhaf. The dhaf is called maf'ul fihi. But for hal, you can also generally assume, like maf'ul ajlihi, you can assume a li in there some way. Like if I say, يَجْعَلُونَ أَصَابِعَهُمْ فِي آذَانِهِمْ مِنَ الصَّوَاعِقِ They place their fingers in their ears because of the, uh, the thunderclaps. حَذَرَ الْمَوْتِ You know, uh, out of fear of, of death. You can word that. You will always be able to word that in a manner that you can put a li there somewhere. Li hadrihimul maut. Because of the fear of, uh, of death. That lam implying the because. Yeah, with, with hal, the reason it won't translate it like that is because of the wow. So the wow, even though it's a harf that sometimes we overlook, right? but it does have meaning. It meaning must either be for enough indicating, you know, the uh, beginning of a discussion, or it must be for a qasam, or it must be for atf, or it must be for hal, right? But it's never there for no reason. 
it might be the smallest thing in the Quran, but it, it always has a meaning. If it didn't have a meaning, Allah would just have a weapon. Okay, next one. Woman, uh, what's that? Let me just look at one more. Woman, a radal a hirata, was a laha, sayaha, who are mu'minun. Woman, a radal a hirata, whoever desires the akhira. Wasa'a laha sa'yaha. And he strives for it. Sa'yaha, it's striving. What would, what would that be? Maf'ul, mutlaq, good. Right. Wa huwa mu'minun. That's going to be my mahal. Okay, just one, one more quickly. Wa yakhiruna lil adhqani yabkoon. Yakhiruna means what? To fall down. Lil adhqani. Yeah, it's like on the on the faces, on the chins. وَيَخِرُونَ لِلْأَذْقَانِ يَبْكُونَ Weeping, crying. So where, where is the haldi? Yabkun. It's telling you the state whilst they were, whilst they were crying. And, and I don't know if I mentioned you this the last time, but the verbal sentence that is for hal will usually be in the mudari' form. Did I put that here somewhere? Yeah, put it there. So the verbal sentence that is for hal will be in the mudari' form. Yes. It's a present state at the time of that action. So even if the, the sentence is past tense, the hal will still be expressed in uh, present tense. Because it's telling you their state, the, the current state at that time. You know, what they were doing at that time. So um, yeah. So 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 in that past tense that would would have been uh, present. So anyways, okay, we'll we'll carry on with this next week, inshallah. Um, I just thought Mala Muhammad was here. I couldn't not let him uh, uh, address the class, inshallah. But we all we we do have class next week, right? Yeah. So we'll continue next week, inshallah. You can look over the the, the next exercise. I mean, I gave it to already. A lot of. Zaman and Dorf Makan, it's not complicated. You can just uh, look over that, inshallah, and we'll do that next week. All right. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.